Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. I've had a request through my Facebook page of how to draw a partridge, so I'm going to try something a little bit different today. I'm going to use some different things, um, so you'll need the standard pencil and eraser. You can either use a permanent black pen, I'm just using this nice artist pen, or you can use what I'm going to be using, and that's a dip pen and some black Indian ink. Um, I'm using Winsor & Newton ink, but you can use whatever brand you like. Um, now to colour it in, I'm going to be using some watercolours. So I've just got a little travel kit like this. Um, you can use acrylic paints diluted or some watercolours of your own. And also get yourself some watercolour paper and um, this one's just a very, very old one <laughs> I've managed to find at the bottom of my studio. So, let's get started. We're going to start off nice and easy with a nice big oval in the centre of the page. Don't press too hard. So, there's my nice oval. I'm going to follow this up with another oval, just slightly smaller, just a little bit higher and to the left of the first oval. This is going to be the head. So just lightly pencil in an oval there. Now we're going to draw the neck. So we're going to bring it round in like that. And the back of the neck there. Okay, now we're going to add a triangle shape just down here. Make it come out just like this. And one leg and then the other leg and we're going to draw this partridge standing on a rock so here we go nice rock there we're going to draw another oval here where the eye is going to be and the little beak so dipping my pen in the black Indian ink we're going to start off with the beak do a nice and simple beak hoping that this ink doesn't splodge all over the place. That's one of the fun things about using um, a dip pen and ink is kind of have lots and lots of adrenaline because you just never know when it's going to splodge all over your beautiful artwork and you have to start again. But I like that. So come up and around. And down. Remember you can do all of this in pencil first. I'm just going straight into pen just to make it quicker but please follow in pencil and then add the pen later if you're not feeling quite so confident if you just want to give it a go do so bring it round I'm just gonna make it a little bit more plump there we go and then all the way down here I'm actually using a Victorian dip pen um, and this one is gold plated. Uh, it was just a present that I was given, but it's one of my favorites. It's absolutely fantastic for drawing. I just love the way that um, it produces different shaped lines. So the only downside is that you have to keep on topping it up, but it's a very minor downside. So just drawing some more feathers down here. There we go. Now for the wing, we're going to bring it around here, all the way down. And then the top part will come around like so. Oops, running out, um, running out of ink. Try again. Bring it around, down, and then the top part of the wing goes there, and round. Okay, now we're going to be drawing the feet, so bring it down here. Remember you can pause this video at any moment, and you can rewind it if you miss a part or I'm going too quickly. That's one part of the foot, draw the talon on the end. And then the other legs just behind here so we won't actually get to see the foot much. And then 
we're drawing the rock just to show that it's standing or something. Here we go, so back to the head. I'm going to be drawing a little beady eye like this. And then just draw a reflection of the light there. Now this is surrounded by a really pretty marking, so it's got some black parts and it's got some red parts. I'm just going to be showing a bit of the black part. Just like this. What I also like doing, if I want to get a really fine line, I just turn over the pen just like this and then I use the other side. So I just get a different type of line. I'm just going to use this technique just to draw a few of the feathers just coming down and get a really, really fine line doing this. So if I need some to do some detailed work, I often use this technique. So I'm just doing some of these black markings just coming down like this. I'm going to show these in more detail when we come to colouring it in using the watercolours. I'm going to turn it over now because I need a thicker line just going down, all the way down. All the way down to here and then the underside here and that's the first stage so I'm going to erase all the pencil lines and I'm going to use my watercolors just to color in all the markings
here's our finished partridge. If you've had fun, please hit subscribe and like and hope to see you on the next one.